Basically, the CCP is enforcing their laws on the U.S. soil by employing the well-trained U.S. law enforcement officers. So that includes a former NY, NYC mayor uh, candidate, Bodito. He had his own uh, private uh, investigation firm based in Manhattan. So he was hired by Xi Jinping to spy on Miles Guo, CCP enemy number one, and not just like the NYPD uh, former officer, but also a former FBI officer, Richard Franco. He used to be the uh, special agent in charge of the FBI's office uh, in Newark, New Jersey. He has been serving 20 years for FBI, and then he's now an active employee uh, hired by the CCP spy uh, Bruno Wu in the United States, uh, in the United States of America, and Bruno Wu is a registered uh, CCP agent under the DOJ's FARA program. So we're talking about a senior level, well trained FBI officer who is now working on behalf of the CCP to spy on the Chinese dissidents to do the CCP's bidding and to help the CCP to re, uh, uh, enforce their laws on the U.S. soil. So this is a really, really threat, a big threat to the U.S. national security. Because imagine in this country, how many retired police officers and, and uh, FBI and the law enforcement, imagine they're now being hired by the CCP to spy on American people, not just on bio school, because they could be doing anything on behalf of the CCP. This is a threatening, but you know what? The real problem starts from the top, not from the, uh, the bottom down. And, you know, we're talking about the CCP's infiltration from top down. I mean, it's deeply penetrated in this country's system, and it will take how many years to get rid of this problem? I mean, I don't know, because right now we cannot, American people cannot afford another 10 years of investigation, another 20 years of slow walking legislation to kill this cancer. I mean, this is a big cancer spreading widely within the American society, and it's very, very threatening.